I made a big mistake. I watched Sarasota Tim this morning. Oh, man, this dude is oblivious. I watched, uh, well, a couple, but one of Tim's videos, and I'm amazed at the things he makes videos about, to be honest. I, I really am. It's, it's, it's amazing to me. And, and the fact that people watch all this shit that he does all day long is mind-blowing. All right, the first thing, all right, okay, so he washes his truck. Ooh, wow. Riveting, riveting content. Okay, talking all about... Uh, car wash and, and, and then he, he says he uses a tire product for for white walls on his tires right okay and he goes around to his little bucket and he pulls it out and he pulls out black magic <laughs> all right i know this product it is far from what he said it was it, it is the opposite of white wall cleaner it, it's it's not a clean it's oh my goodness it's it's a it's a tire it's <laughs> it's not even what he said it, it's he's clueless and he doesn't even know what he's endorsing. He's, oh, this is the best product you should go out. And he doesn't even know what he's endorsing. The dude is oblivious. All right, then, then he goes back to where the, the cramper is and waxes his truck. He uses detail spray. <laughs> now, he just showed this big bucket, his Jay Leno bucket of cleaning products. What? No wax in your big bucket of goodies to... to uh, the detail your oh my god all right the detail spray it's for touch-ups it's not for waxing your whole vehicle it's if you know say a bird shits on your hood and you wipe it up and then you take your detail spray and you put it shine back on and you there you go that's what that's for it, it's not to do your whole vehicle <sighs> oh my goodness and then he does like four laps around the truck and he just says the same thing over and over and over again. All there. This is like lap number two or three, but we just keep walking around. Up a little bit. My son should be here soon. He said that about this 20 truck times. This is real pretty, but it's nowhere near like as pristine as oh, my forerunner used yeah, to be. Used to be. Do but another lap. It's a different animal. I mean, it's a you know big V8 motor. Got a lot of pulling power. There it crashed go. twice, but <laughs> in the back end, I backed it into a pole. Yeah, you backed it into a uh, pole. Someone grabbed the front fender there. It's been replaced. It was the bumper jackass. Just the fender. A bumper, I should say, not the fender. Yes, yeah, so you fucking moron. He... But yeah, this is, this is what the dude does. He does laps and laps and laps around the damn thing. And then... Mr. Obvious, he decides uh, he's going to go into the cramper and he points out and describes it. This, this is, and he taps on his little, little finger and he shows everything and he, <laughs> he points and describes, points out and describes everything. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a fuse box. Uh, this here is an air conditioner. <laughs> that, that's a max air fan. When you turn it on, it, it, it exhausts air. It sucks it out. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. It's a window. Do you know what windows do? It, look at this window. I just found this out. It goes up and down. <laughs> this is this is the content, folks. I always want to call it a fantastic fan. It's a max air fan. And it ex exhausts. When you open the vent and Ooh. you turn it on, do tell, it will do suck tell. air right through this window. Wow. And look what I discovered. First of all, this is a magnet. When you open up the uh, little window here, you have a screen. Wow. And then it locks in right here. That's amazing. But look at this. Look at that. You can open the screen a little bit. Holy hell. Holy hell. Are, are you as amazed as I am? I, come on, man. Who the hell watches his videos? Three-year-olds? Now, since Tim does seven of these a day, and not only that, gets views. So I thought I would do some Tim videos. Five views here, and I'm gonna make you a video. Look, I have a TV. Do you know how TVs work, boys and girls? Yeah, but I'm watching YouTube, my favorite YouTuber. Yeah, so let's uh, see what I'm gonna do next. Maybe I'll get some coffee.
Out here, this is my kitchen. This is where I come to get my coffee. Look! That's a coffee mug. There's another one. Yeah, yeah. You know, see, over here, this here, it's a coffee maker. Look, you can make it two different ways. In the big pot or in the little K-cups. Yeah, coffee maker. Ooh, do you see how that works? Isn't it awesome? And look what I found out. This is called a faucet. Yeah, it's a faucet. Look at it. And you know what? Water comes out of here. Yeah, water comes out of here. If you turn this, yeah, look, water comes out. And if you turn it one way, it makes it hot. If you turn it the other way, it makes it cold. Right in the middle, it's just right. It's a faucet. Yeah, where water comes out. Yeah, yeah. Well, my coffee's done. So I'm going to sit here and drink my coffee. Mmm, that's some good coffee. Really love my coffee. I want to thank everybody for sending money so I can buy coffee. Do love my coffee. I know it's not Wawa coffee, but hey. Because, you know, I don't see so well, so I can't go driving around and block traffic and go, Hey, look at all the people here trying to wait in line to get gas. And look, look where I parked. Right there in the only hole to get through. What kind of a moron would do such a thing? But hey, don't worry. As soon as I'm done with my coffee, Mmm, <coughs> best coffee I ever had. I'll, I'll be back and I'll make another video probably in about oh I don't know 15 or 20 minutes because I'm sure after this coffee I'll have to take a big old dump and I'll get back on here and let you guys know exactly how it went but until then I'm gonna sit here with my coffee and crash it okay seriously now all right this morning he annoyed the shit out of me I, I mean I I really did. I wanted, to, I wanted to smack him so damn bad. First, Mr. Snooze Fest explains how gas stations work. Yeah, that's right. He gave us a, a, a detailed explanation of, of how it does. He tells us how people line up to get gas and coffee in the morning on their way to work. Or, or even some of the crews that go into work and get their trucks and get loaded up for the day to go out to do their thing. They go to gas stations and get fuel. And sometimes they even go in and get snacks for lunch and a cup of coffee to start their morning holy shit who knew thanks tim i would have never known that now after showing how busy it is he shows some dickhead parked his pickup truck in the way i mean there's no way to get through except through that one little spot and there's an asshole what's his pickup truck there oh 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 wait the asshole is tim not just for gas pump, but just to park. So yeah, uh, don't um, don't just park here and go in and shop at like Bucky's or yeah. any gas station. Park like got this guy trying to get to those prison jobs and um, do those services for you. Look, this guy over here, he put his buoys out too. His buoys. It's a fucking cone, you jackass. Now that means maybe they are inside grabbing coffees and sandwiches. And there's just nowhere on the property, see? Uh, yeah, there's nowhere to go. Look, the guy got... Oh, 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 see, this is the kind of shit that drives me insane. He's oblivious. He is oblivious. There's trucks. You see him right there at the pump. At the pump. They got their cones out. And Tim, it, it's right there. He blocks the only way to get around and through shit. And then he goes in and gets his coffee, then comes out and stands there blocking the whole fucking thing and tell look look at everybody trying to get on their way in the morning to their prison jobs well i have nothing to do because i'm sad and lonely and i'm sitting here talking to you all fucking day long and i just parked my truck here so they can't go and go about their business because they actually have shit to do when i have nothing at all to do so he just blocks the whole damn thing and then he gets in his truck and he just sits there right where it is and talks to his camera. He's totally oblivious to the fact that he is 
he's screwing everything up for everyone. Can you, can you tell he really fucking annoyed me today already? And as he's sitting there yabbering about nothing, sipping on his damn coffee. Oh, gee, I wonder what that guy's waiting for. Well, I'm, I, I'm not blocking him. <laughs> Dude, you self-absorbed asshole. What a bonehead. Of course you're blocking him. It, unless you're on a motorcycle, you're not getting through there. He finally does move, and then he pulls around and stops again. In the damn way. This guy here, is he? He's waiting for this big truck to move. No, he's I'm waiting for you way. to move, you fucking moron. I'm definitely not in his way. You are in his way. I'll move on over here. Well, here he comes now. Well, yeah. He's having to squeeze through there. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> yeah, especially with a moron like you, wow. you big bonehead. A one-eyed man. Yeah, close your good eye, you stupid fuck. Pull over here and just finish my coffee. Yeah, in the way again. This is a big, a big Wawa. Here's some big truck parking back here, like parallel parking. All the yeah, if morons like you don't block the fucking way and let them get back there, you dipshit. Oh, and then as he parks, he he sets in the way again, and then you you see a guy in the truck. It's probably that same dude. He, he's pulling a trailer and he's struggling to get around to make the swing because. Tim pulled up and pulled over to the right, and this guy's got to squeeze between the curb. Tim, and he's, oh, my God. I just, I, I'm seriously, man. Oh, he had me so annoyed. He had me, and I wasn't even driving. Oh, my goodness. It, it just, <laughs> this dude's struggling to get his trailer around. <laughs> to get around Mr. 10 videos a day, all lonely, gabbing in his fucking truck. What an ass clown. Now, after witnessing all this and how oblivious Tim is and doesn't know how things work, and even though he pulls a trailer, he sees other people pulling trailers and knows how this shit goes, but I'm not in his way. I'm obviously not in his way. There's fucking three feet between the cone and your bumper of your truck, and this guy's supposed to... Oh, my God. So after I witnessed this bullshit, I am 100% convinced that that crash that fucked up the truck, it was because of his oblivious ass. Yeah, it, it, not to mention the fact that he's telling us that he can only see out of one eye. He demonstrates this several times by closing his good eye while driving. Yeah, not only does he put eye drops in his eyes while he's driving, now he goes, I can't see out of this eye, so let me close this one and show you. Yep, nope, can't see, can't see. And the fucking moron is driving. Oh, ring his neck, ring his neck. Again, can you tell that all this <laughs> was enough just to irritate me already this morning? I really did wish I could have walked up to his window, tapped on it, and yelled in his dumb face about how clueless he was and he, how he was plugging the hole, fucking it up for everyone. But wait, that wasn't the big thing, believe it or not. He said something that really pissed me off. Again, this dude is oblivious. He, he doesn't know what he says sometimes. He can't. It, there's no way. There's no way that his brain works correctly. I don't care what anybody says. He starts talking more about his eye woes and uh, how he, he's got to go to the doctor this morning because his eye is thumping and the pressure and all this other shit. But he just, he says the dumbest shit without thinking. If both eyes were like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to uh, drive. I couldn't go anywhere. I'd, uh, I'd have to carry a stick. <laughs> it's bad, man. It's bad. <laughs> oh my God. That's right. You wouldn't be able to drive just like me. That's right. Yes. You would have to use a stick just like me. Ha! Huh. So, is there something wrong with that? Huh? Does that make me less than? 
Maybe if you weren't bending over with your head at your fucking knees, washing your truck tires and dumb shit, pressure wouldn't build up in your eye that you just had surgery on because you had high pressure in your eye. You oblivious clown. Get your head out of your ass. You're not the only person in the world. Move. Your, your little videos aren't that important. Put down the damn camera and pay attention and think about what you say. If you lose vision, it's not a death sentence. Shit you say in the way you say it, sometimes it implies that blind people are incapable or less than. Dude, forget about eyesight. Pray to God that it gives you a fucking brain. Now, I know Blind Views, he loves to rock. And there ain't no better place to rock than at the Rock of Gibraltar, right there. And this is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. Or am I Blind Screws? What we do here is go back, 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 back.